Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Lauren. Pardon my voice, but I'm a little sick. Anyways, that doesn't stop me from painting, and I'm trying to finish this painting over here, uh, which I won't be able to show you fully, but I wanted to refine this bit over here, and I thought, why not record it, right? Um, a lot of the times I have this as a sketchy painting, which leads me to the next step, and I need to know, like, how can I refine it, so... Let me quickly show you how we do that. So first of all, I create a new layer so I cannot mess up what I already have. Um, if I need to go back a thousand steps, I can by just deleting the layer. So I'll do that. I'll pick the shadow, make sure I have a soft brush, um, my opacity, uh, I want to blend colors in. So I'm going to lower my opacity to about 70 or the low 70, so up to 75 is fine. Um, I'm not gonna go into the 60s because that that doesn't even blend that shadow. So I'm just gonna um, keep my brush very thin. I don't want to do like a soft shadow around this area because I already have that. I'm gonna try to create like a very thin um, layer of shadow for one for each fold. So can you see where I have the lines? I have one, two, three, four, five lines. I'm gonna refine each one of them, I'm gonna erase where I don't want it to overlap my other colors and I'm just gonna paint like a basic kinda like a basic cylinder shape, so each one of the folds I imagine it to be going up and down again, so it's a half a um, half a cylinder the top half of a cylinder and so I'm gonna smooth out this um, contrast over here I'm gonna bring like the shadow towards the light and the light towards the shadow until it smooths smooth this out and then once I have that I'm gonna get one of these very dark lines and I'm gonna drive it in cutting right through that smoothing that I just did why do I do that because when you look at folds the fold itself doesn't really show because of the light I mean clothing itself it seems straight the only bits that you see is the folds because of the shadow so it doesn't matter which type of highlights, how much highlight you have on the shadow, on those clothes um, the fold is really gonna show up with the shadow so I'm focusing on that mainly and right now um, so I'm smoothing this curve anymore, a little bit more make sure that the colors blend and then the shadow gets um, thicker as it gets towards all the other shadows and thinner and darker as it gets away and then I'm gonna, I'm not just gonna make that shadow blend into the nothingness I'm gonna get that really dark color, make it even darker make my brush super thin and start drawing a line, a thin line until it connects to the other folds so it looks like the clothing is bending forward and now I'm gonna, I have a bit too much space there so I'm gonna draw a shadow there until it connects to the other lines and boom, it looks like it's kind of folding on itself, creating a V-shape and coming up. So it's like this, it creates this up and down zigzag kind of style of a, a fold. But I don't want it to just become dark and f join all the other folds. Now without changing the lighting too much, because I'm happy with what I have here, I'm going to blend the light into the shadow just a little bit so it doesn't look off. And then... I'm gonna correct those dark lines, make sure the shadows still show what they should and what I did up here, I'm gonna do it exactly the same with the other folds so from thin to thick it becomes th um, lighter, the shadow becomes lighter as it goes away I'm not gonna change the position of my folds so I'm, I'm gonna grab that shadow and instantly interrupt what I already have boom, cut the shadow in half, now we already have two shadows with the same the intensity of with the same darkness so I'm gonna make this one a little darker because it's thinner and so it withholds less light and I'm gonna grab this highlight bring it up here make sure it doesn't feel like uh, the change from dark to light is too immediate so alright I'm happy with that I'm just gonna smooth out this bit tap a couple of times with my pencil to make the shadow round here because the the brush is round, so I just tap, tap, tap until it becomes round, and that looks pretty good. 
I'm just not happy with the fact that you see a line here, it becomes too obvious. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to see what it looks like in context and see, hmm, okay, I can maybe bring a little bit of that shadow up here and maybe that gives like a little bit more space to the shadow. And then we see that. And boom. Alright, what am I gonna do with this? Okay, there's a bit too much shadow here, so I'm gonna grab the highlight and start pushing back that shadow and then there's a bit too many shadows down here so I'm gonna start highlighting just a little bit down there grab the shadow push back the highlight a little bit so you can see there's such little amount of light here but it's not pure shadow which is what I want and then I don't want my red colors to overlap my pink colors so I'm just gonna redraw the pink grab my gray here and kind of redraw the pattern again and that's good enough. I'm just gonna clean the shadows here, make sure that it's very clear which way which way it's bending. So here I have one coming like this. Here is the Z shape. Where does it end? It blends into this. Where does the other end go? It blends into the other side. And then that should be going in. So whenever you see one of these dark lines, it's the inside of a fold in between two layers so it means it's bending inwards so it creates a shadow because it's bending inwards there will be a v-shape in between the two folds and so i want to add whatever colors behind that because um i have cloth but i have white cloth behind this fold so i'm just gonna go in like this and unhide what i have down there and then boom just clean out the edges. It does really matter at the beginning when I was sketchy drawing or sketchy painting, whatever. But um, it matters now, now that I'm refining. And so I think I'm almost done. I'm just gonna darken the shadow over here by adding like a darker tone and then blending it together. I'm still on 70% opacity, so everything I paint will blend with the other colors behind it. And I'm pretty happy with that. I think overall the only thing that bothers me is that this fold here blends into nothing so I'm gonna connect it with the other ones make it maybe even give it a little bit of a twist around the arm so it, it looks like the clothes are kind of like moved towards the inside of her arm which is her last movement so it tells a little bit about what she's doing we also have very little shadows here so I'm gonna color pick a dark color and add a little bit more of a shadow there like that and clean the other side that shouldn't have shadow I have a little bit of pink as well for my sketching I'm just gonna push that back with shadows color pick boom and then I think my highlight should clean this side um, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now I'm just um, making it so the shadows have a very clean edge right here boom like that like, I'll zoom in. Can you see how it kind of goes? It's it's very blurry, so I'm just gonna just gonna clean that up with a small brush, um, like this. I want I want it to be clear which way the shadows are heading, and uh, because having blurry shadows, it's not a doesn't really show your amount of scale. It just shows you're trying to hide the fact that you don't know how to do it. Um, Boom. I think, no, actually I'm not going to add too much shadow there, I want the shadow to become darker as you get to this side where there is a light. And because there is a white cloth on right next to the red, I'm going to add some reflections. So I'm just going to tap like this a couple of times, get that reflection there, and maybe do a random scribble there, because it's closer to it. And I'm going to respect if I see an L shape with the, um, with the wave, with the way, um, my folds go, then I will respect that and then do out so that my reflection is an L shape, like this. And so, like that, and maybe add another highlight down here and blend that into that. And maybe even, no, no, no. I'm gonna add another shadow there and clean the edges again.
and then I'm gonna add some very, very dark shadows but down here. Color pick that. Sometimes when I want to draw dark but not too dark, I grab a really dark color, do a line, and then I color pick that line, the lighter part of that line, and I start coloring with that so you can see it's lighter than the original color I picked. And then I'm going to use really dark tones to show the inside of that shadow, of the, of underneath the shirt, make sure it's red, because there, it should be reflecting some of the light. And then I'm going to add um, highlights to the side of the shirt, maybe that. Boom. That will give uh, the, sh the um, jacket a little bit of thickness, actually. So I'm going to do that. Even if it's a thin line, it um, yeah, it gives a sense of 3D and the fact that it's a little thick. I'm gonna push in the shadow towards the light so that the colors blend. Clean my shadow down here. Color pick a dark color. Covering with the shadow. Make sure the edges are clean. Add highlights to those white bits that I reflected. And boom, here we have some very nice folds. If I zoom out a little bit like that, you can see that already looks a lot better. And I'm gonna j continue uh, adding a little bit more shadows here at the top and there, just to maybe add three or more folds to do what I have here. Because I know in real life, if I do this, I get a lot more folds, especially if I pull like that. You can see I have around 20 folds in here, and. Uh, I'm going to be working on that, trying to add quite a few more folds to the final drawing. It's it's better to stick with the reality in that sense, in terms of folds. So I wish you good luck guys with your folds and I'll finish off with mine. So see ya.